Hi, Georgina, how are you? Um, I'm okay, thank you. Been busy doing research. I've been doing my homework and I've been dieting like a, a healthier diet. Um, I've only eaten meat once this week and I'm not wow. missing it. And it was chicken from the halal and I'm feeling more vitalized and I had more rest because I was really, really exhausted. I didn't even go live on Friday. I, I, put, wow. I, set, my, I set my boundaries and uh, also because I didn't have central heating here for four days, five days. So oh, I went to bed goodness. and I just rested. It's like a major flake out. And I saw a reader on YouTube say, an astrologer, saying that the energy for the Geminis will diminish and will be very slow in October. So um, I can okay. relate to that. And we're going yeah. to have mer Mercury retrograde, I think from the 13th of October to the 3rd of November. So <clears throat> I hope my computer doesn't pack it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, it's good to get all these episodes done and we've got loads of uh, positive reactions by likes and, and, and I hope shares. And um, I don't know precisely how many, but last time I looked, it was about 16. So, um, and we've had Tracy Callenstein, Castle Dine, uh, making candles at home and showing, and she's already got 38 hits. So people are finding it interesting, and I hope people are motivated to start their own hobby or to order homemade candles uh, made to their specific demands uh, in scent and colour um, after we talked about the candles last week and the colour. They do look lovely. I had yeah. a look. Yeah, they are gorgeous. I, yeah. I will be getting them. Okay. Now this week, we, last week we talked about the liver and the gallbladder and that was the uh, air, uh, no was it air? Spirit. Uh, what uh, yes spirit you've got a better memory yes. than i have and this week i was going I'm, i might be jumping the queue a little bit um because i'm going to earth and not to water and fire because uh water is at 10 past and fire is 25 past and earth is a little bit further to um, 25 too but to me it makes more sense uh to do that because you've got the stomach and you have the spleen here, and the spleen is the solar 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 chakra, um, solar, solar plexus. Yeah, solar plex chakra. So that's the emotions. And I know um, because I've been in the healthcare that that can also have influence on your stomach, and uh, uh, they call it ingina pectoris, and it sometimes imitates a heart attack and it's like the stomach is cramping and just some people get, oh, wow. uh, get panicky and they think it's the heart. So I thought since the emotions they, and the emotions are very important also because they're connected to the heart and last week they said if your liver doesn't work properly then your heart doesn't work properly. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah I do. So I'm trying to connect it in my own way and everybody can do that so long you keep to the plan of action. Um, so I'm going to do it this way. Uh, I'm just going to read a little bit about uh, out of the book. So I hope you agree with me. You can resonate that because you've got the stomach here. Then you've got the solar plex here and you've got the gallbladder on the side of the stomach. Yeah. All right. The left earth. The left, the bottom left corner of the pentagram is Earth. This is where the stomach and spleen preside. The spleen is actually connected to the lungs and the heart. Well, there you go. Heart. If the spleen is in good health, then the heart will have no problems or any problems. The earth energy of the spleen and stomach helps control the kidney like a dam controls water. If they are weak, then the kidney will be weak and the end result will be that your body will retain too much water or fluid. Now the stomach is the main organ related to weight gain. Stomach in, uh, energy 
is the food you eat, take in. Through eating and drinking, you constantly create energy coming in uh, and energy going out. If your digestive system is not functioning properly, you will not be able to get enough nutrition or make sufficient energy to make your body's daily energy needs. You want a balance. No matter, no matter how many healthy foods you eat, if your spleen or stomach doesn't function properly, your body can't take the food and transform it into energy it needs. Your immune system is located in the lining of your stomach. One of the biggest causes of a weak immune system has to do with overabundant amounts of sugar that are in every thing we eat. Sugar is what impairs your Im immune system, resulting in, sorry, resulting in it being easier for unwanted viruses and bacteria to fester longer than they should. And it does go on a little bit about the lack of appetite and lack of energy. And this is under the heading of how do I know if my spleen stomach isn't happy? And then I won't go into that um, because we're going to do a lot of beautiful new conversations today. What causes, what causes uh, stomach or spleen failure? Enlarged spleen, I will, I'll do this because of a warning. Enlarged spleen, an enlarged spleen can be caused by infections. So, uh, sheer horis, is that it? I'm not sure. Cyhosis or other liver diseases, blood diseases uh, characterized by abnormal blood cells, problems with lymph systems or other conditions. And that's why you have to flush out the bacteria and drink at least two liters of water a day. <clears throat> uh, like IBS is irritable, down, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, um, digestive orders. This is what the stomach has to deal with in all its forms, such as IBS. What you put into your body is what you are made up of. You know the old saying, you are what you eat. It is true. And then we've got the ma uh, magical associations. And the magical associations is mouth, muscles, worry, overthinking, late summer, but we are in late summer now. This is the spleen season, so it's quite apt that we got the spleen and the stomach today. The environmental factor is dampness, which is true because we're into autumn. Yellow, associated color, that's also the color of the emotional chakra. And I haven't looked, I haven't studied this before I went into the book. But you can also, or I feel already one with the book and you're sort of living to it. And I feel cleaner because I haven't drunk too much coffee or too much tea. I've just been drinking water and milk. Okay, sweet. The associated taste. Do you crave for sweets? No, don't like sweets. Middle center, the direction. Though Earth sits in the in the north, we are talking about the spleen direction. OK. And if I go back to uh, it's 25, it is south southwest in the pentagram. If you look at the pentagram and not north. So yeah. I take it. It's not that the Earth must be stomach and the spleen must be north. Yeah. That yeah, that's right. Because we're going around the pentagram in the order that you would when you're drawing it to draw in power, which although, is why it's jumping all over the place. Although, although it says here, although it says here, sorry, got the wrong camera. Uh, all right. It says the spleen, OK? It says spleen, yep. stomach, and the calendar is litha. 
and we can have a look when Litha is. That's another calendar of the pagan uh, uh, time. Yeah, and I can't remember when that one is. Uh, Stara. Uh, summer solstice. Summer solstice. Yeah. Summer solstice. Uh, which, which, which page is that? That is 106. Ah, uh, yes. Lovely. So that summer solstice, that is 21 of June. In our calendar. But, okay. um, but Valentine is spring, I think, isn't it? Valentine? Beltane? Uh, no. Beltane. That is around the 1st of uh, May, isn't That's it? May, yeah. Beltane. Beltane. May. Yeah. Isn't that the summer solstice for you in, in the Wiccan uh, calendar? Yeah, no, ours is June as well. Oh, yours is, yeah, okay. But that's not the twin. Beltane is not the twenty first of June. No, it's May. But there is a, in Canterbury. There's a big gathering of pagans and Wiccans on yes, Beltane. Yes, nice. well, they they do it for lots of different. Um, well, they can't at the moment, but they normally gather for every solstice and celebration. I think. So not that I've seen. But. So is Beltane? Can we, can you find that in here, Beltane? Yeah, Beltane is on page 101. 101. It represents the peak of spring and the beginning the peak, of summer. Right, okay. So it's not, for us, the beginning of summer is 21 of June. Yeah, so this, it's still, it's not quite summer here. No, it's, it's the peak of spring before it goes into summer, which is why it's a, a month before summer starts. So okay. that would be that would be the twenty first of May then. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the exact date of Beltane. I th I th um, it might be but different I, I because of the uh, because of the astro uh, astrological planets. It all depends, I suppose. It, yeah. Because we were talking about that last week. That our calendar has changed from every zodiac sign changing on the twenty first to the twenty second and the twenty third. Because I've noticed that in my readings, because I'm I'm doing the energy of uh, Virgo, and now I've done Libra, and I've I've seen the same thing, that it's two days later. Okay. Also, depending where you live. Yeah, yeah, because then you've got the northern and southern hemispheres to take into account well, as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so which page were we on? We were on page thirty-three. 35. 35. Yeah. So I've mentioned the organs. That was the mouth. The mouth, the muscles, worry over thinking, late summer. Okay, the litha. Uh, oh no, that's Beltane. No, that's. Right. It's the litha, late summer. Litha, yeah. Yeah, that seems. Uh, logical because we are three quarters of the way through the wheel. Then we've got remember everything in moderation. Drink ginger tea. You, I've got that in tea bags from the Indonesian uh, takeaway. There's a, they've got a shop. They've got a shop and they've got instant ginger tea. If you want to see it, I'll, I'll go and get it. I'll go to the kitchen. So that's right. This is Indonesian ginger drink. And you get 20 sachets in it and they're quite big. So I can make two cups of tea from that. And I've got the, the, the spicy ginger, like the real, you can get them with sugar as well. And I've got this. Nice. Are they really, um, are they really strong tasting? Yeah. Yeah. It's like re you, you've got real ginger. Like if you, uh -oh. you, get, you can also, Boil uh, water, then um, get a, a, a nodule or a lump of like a, a five penny uh, or a shilling, five pence, uh, biggest knob, and then uh, grade it on the grade, then put it in the hot water, and then put honey in it, 
and that's very good when you've also got flu. And I half these bags and this costs me about four euros. So I've got uh, 20 bags, 40 drinks. And the nice thing about it is if you boil the water in, you put the ginger in and you put uh, honey in, you can stir it in a jar and cool it off and then put it in the fridge. And then you've got loads to drink every day. And it it's a very good detoxer and cleanser. It's yeah. also, so. I it's um, it's good for your circulation as well. Yeah, <coughs> blood, blood purifier and the liver. And you don't have to get a special tea, just hot water and fresh ginger slices. Add lemon if you like or cinnamon and this one is uh, ginger um, this is just plain ginger but you can get ginger and honey okay so now we're going on uh, again no one knows your body like you take a moment now to list below some troubled traits of the spleen and stomach and you've noticed within okay and also to mention you've got your lungs and you've got your heart and the spleen um, if it breaks it's very very urgent I can't express that enough that you get that you phone up the emergency number because a torn spleen can be lethal because it separates the top of your body to the stomach and the guts wow. so it holds the lungs and the stomach and the gallbladder all in the heart all in the ca in this cavity and that's your rib cage is protecting those organs oh, wow. so it's connect is it connected with your diaphragm that is the diaphragm the, is spleen, the, diaphragm. the, the, the spleen is the diaphragm Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> Learning something new here. Yeah, well, it, I learned it as the, the the spleen, and when I came into Holland, I learned it as the diaphragm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then you've got another little page to make notes, plan of action, and then you go on to the water sign. But we won't go on to the water sign because we were busy with the stomach and the spleen. So we're going to do the healing spells for the stomach and the spleen. We won't go into detail because we'll do this in the workshop and discuss uh, what to do, how to do it, uh, because we will have run through this. And like I said, I've, I've already got this. So um, you might have your own experiences in some things. Um, and um, we can discuss this with everybody that joins us in the workshop. Okay. okay. Do you agree? I do indeed. Um, okay. I, I don't actually drink ginger tea myself because I don't really like ginger. So How I'm going to look at the alternatives. <laughs> that's lemon. Lemon and cinnamon. And there's also... Oh, I um, love cinnamon tea. Ah, well, she said yeah. lemon, cinnamon with ginger, but you can do uh, cinnamon tea with honey and honey is very good for the throat. It's very soothing. Um, also, I don't know, I haven't got them in the house, but they smell like, uh, they taste like aniseed. They're stars. I call them star seeds and they, they, they taste like aniseed. And what we have in Holland, we've got little blocks that you can dilute in hot milk before you go to bed, like Horlicks, and oh. makes you sleep. Hot milk makes you sleep, but aniseed is a, like in some countries, like in America, uh, aniseed is considered a drug. So, you know, oh. you uh, in some states, you're not allowed to... Uh, uh, eat aniseed or drink aniseed like perno that's aniseed because that's okay, considered I'll a drug uh, no because I've got family in America so I know some things not all <laughs> and um, cleansing is also lemon with uh, mint 
mint tea is also cleansing but mint tea can also uh, cause symptoms if you have like stomach or heart medication are you still there okay because you're frozen yeah, up here. you're frozen oh, no. up my internet connection do you want um, to stop, stop yeah yeah i'll switch to my mobile later 